Are you planning for Tomorrowland and wondering how much everything costs? Well, I've got all that information for you right here. Let's just jump into it. My name's Brett, and if you're new here, my goal is to give you all the information on music festivals and travel that you need to get out raging. So Tomorrowland is one of the biggest music festivals of the year, and of course with that comes a lot of planning and information that you need to know regarding the pricing. Let's just jump right into it and talk about the prices of everything that this could possibly include, and then we'll talk about how to budget that. I'm actually going to break this video up into a few parts, and we're going to talk about a few different things, and each of the chapters will be listed down below so you can skip ahead to which whichever topic that you're looking for. So the different topics we're gonna go over are tickets, accommodations, flights and other travel, food and drinks, and other. Before I jump into ticket prices, I wanna let you know, I left a link down in the description below of a Google Sheet that I created with all of the prices from 2022. They do take these off of their website after the festival ends. This is gonna be your best resource for looking into each item that you wanna know what the price is. It also may be useful to open up this Google Sheet while you're watching the video so you can follow along and know a little bit more and have a bit more detail on the pricing as we're going through it. So for ticket prices, they're gonna have a worldwide pre-sale and then a regular worldwide sale. The pre-sale, of course, you're going to have to register for these tickets about two weeks before the tickets go on sale. So definitely keep an eye on Tomorrowland's website and their social media to know when they're going to release these. They usually release sometime in January or February. It just depends on the year. The worldwide pre-sale for festival entry was about 261 euros, which is roughly $264 at the time of recording this video. The regular sale was about 310 euros, which roughly equates to about $314. They also have comfort passes, which are essentially VIP, and these passes were 462 euros, which is about $467. The regular sale for the comfort pass was 535 euros, which is about $541. One important thing to note about the ticket prices is that it doesn't include a treasure case fee. This is a cost that they incur to make the little boxes and uh, packaging that includes your festival bracelet and a bunch of other information and goodies. The great thing about the Tomorrowland tickets is that they do include the service fees, so what you see is what you get. The unfortunate thing about Tomorrowland tickets is that they are highly sought after and lots of people are gonna be trying to get them, which means that it is highly possible, if not probable, that you won't end up being able to get a ticket through the pre-sale or the regular sale. You don't have to worry, there is a third-party uh, site that has tickets and you can get them through, but the prices are definitely gonna be different and they're definitely gonna vary over time. Viagogo is the main third-party site that you're gonna to wanna to go to if you want a Tomorrowland ticket. It's officially done with Tomorrowland, so you don't have to worry about your ticket not coming. You will definitely be guaranteed your ticket. The prices can definitely vary. I remember in 2016, the first time I went, it was about $800 just for a single ticket with camping, but the price can change over time. At the time of recording this video, we're on the verge of weekend three in 2020 and the prices are fairly low. I'll put them up on the screen now and they definitely can vary over time. The ticket price is $276, but that doesn't include a $69 booking fee and a $5 handling fee. The important thing to note here is that the Viagogo tax and booking fee seems to be roughly 25% of whatever the ticket price is. So factor that into your pricing when you're doing your budget. The last thing I'll mention about Viagogo is that you should probably buy single tickets rather than a group of tickets. When I went to buy two tickets together, there was actually a premium for buying them together rather than buying them separately. I don't think you'll have any problems if you buy them separately. I know I didn't. So I recommend trying that and trying different groupings to see what the prices are, but at the moment you're more likely to get a better price if you buy the single tickets separately. Single tickets meaning a whole weekend pass versus two whole weekend passes. The next section we gotta talk about is accommodation. Now, they have a ton of accommodations. I'm gonna be going over all of the Dreamville options rather than hotel options. It's very highly recommended to go to Dreamville. You'll have a really fun experience. I know you're gonna be a lot more comfortable at a hotel, but they do have a lot of premium options within Dreamville that can make your experience a lot like a hotel, but you'll be closer and kind of in all of the fun. I do have a breakdown of all of the Dreamville accommodations on my Google Sheet. I will go over the basic price though, just so you can get a gist of what the starting price is gonna be looking like. So Magnificent Greens is their festival camping area and it's affectionately called Mad Greens, but this pricing will be about $74 during pre-sale 
and $80 during the public sale. This camping cost, of course, comes in a package with your festival ticket. So those totals come into about 335 euros for the pre-sale and 390 euros for the public sale. The camping prices are the same whether you get a comfort pass or a GA pass. The only difference, of course, is gonna be how much your festival ticket costs, but these are gonna be the totals for the comfort passes with the Mad Greens package as well. I will be doing videos on the accommodations as well and analyzing what you get versus what the price is. So if I've made those already, you can click that right here and watch it now. If not, subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I do come out with those videos. If you were unable to get a ticket at the pre-sale or the regular sale and you really want to go to Tomorrowland, an option that you could do is Global Journey. Now, this is typically something you're going to want to do if you really want an all-inclusive package that includes travel and hotels and other experiences outside of Tomorrowland but they do tend to be very expensive. Since there are so many options with Global Journey coming from all different countries all over the world, I won't really be going into the details, but I do have a link on the Google Sheets where you can get a lot more information on those packages. The next important thing to consider with your budget is gonna be flights. Now, flights from the US can average somewhere between $600 to $1,200, depending on when you're buying them. So it's really important to know the best times to buy your flights. I definitely recommend that you use a flight tracker. My preferred one is Google Flights. You can go on their site and put in the dates that you want to fly and any other filters that you like, and then click the tracking option, and then it will send you constant price updates for those particular flights, and it will also even tell you when the best time to buy is. I have Google Flights and some other price trackers linked on the Google Sheet for your convenience, so you can check those out whenever you want. The next important piece is travel after you fly to Belgium or a nearby country. In the Google Sheet, I have only included information for travel from the Brussels airport, and this includes buses, a train and a bus, or the official Tomorrowland shuttle. There are other options if you're flying into Paris or London, you can take a train from there to the Brussels airport. Uh, you can look up how much those costs, I think maybe about 60 to $100, but that's really easy to check and not something that you should be too worried about. The really cool thing about getting from the airport to Dreamville where you'll be camping is there are a few different really good options that are fairly cheap. A bus will cost about $30 round trip, a train and a bus might cost somewhere around $20 round trip. And if you do the official Tomorrowland shuttle, this one will be the easiest. It'll go straight directly from the airport to Dreamville, and it'll cost about 21 euros each way, which maybe is about $40, $45. Food and drinks are also super important when it comes to budgeting for a music festival or just the traveling experience in general. And at Tomorrowland, they are also very difficult to know because they actually have their prices in pearls, which is their own currency that you then convert into from your home currency and put it onto your wristband. And then that is how you pay. A typical food item, you know, a burger or something like that will be about eight pearls. This will be about $13. A typical cocktail is gonna be about seven pearls or $11, and a typical light beer is gonna be about three pearls or four pearls, which is about $5. Water is also super important. I definitely recommend carrying a hydration pack so you can get free water at any of their very convenient stands. But if you wanna buy some water, it's not super expensive. It's about two to two and a half pearls, which is about $4. The interesting thing about food at Tomorrowland is they actually have food experiences, which makes it very unique. They have three different restaurants within the festival, and these prices can range from about 40 euros to 45 euros for just a typical meal. But you can also get the chef's table, which is a special experience that's about 500 euros per person. I have not personally tried these yet, but I do plan on trying these in 2023. So stay tuned for that, and I'll be definitely vlogging the experience so that you can see it when the time comes. The last important thing with food is that there are camping add-ons. Now, of course, you're gonna need food in the morning, maybe even lunch within the campground. So you're gonna wanna consider where you're gonna be eating during this time. They do offer a few different breakfast packages. One's called the Farmhouse Breakfast, and this is in the Mad Greens area. This is what the prices are for that. There's also an option for people in the Montego area, Montague area, however you wanna say it. These people are in the premium area paying for dream lodges and things like that. They have their own dedicated breakfast and this is the prices for that. There's also something called an Alpro breakfast. This is a single day breakfast within the Mad Greens area. 
And lastly, there's a couple more add-ons. One is that there's a cold beer pickup. You can pay 24 euros to pick up a 24 pack of beer right at the entrance of Mad Greens. And then lastly, there's a camp to camp add-on, which basically gives you a tent, an air mattress, and a sleeping bag. Before we move on to the next section, make sure to go down and drop a like on this video for the YouTube algorithm. It's free at no cost to you, but really helps me out. Also make sure to follow me at out underscore raging so you can stay tuned and get the first look at all of the things I'm doing and all the festivals I go to. So the next thing we're looking at is the other and miscellaneous section. This includes things like parking, lockers, and merch if you're gonna buy that. You can get parking for just the festival or also Dreamville and they can be for the whole weekend or single day. Single day is gonna be about $13 and the full weekend can range from about 30 to $35. Lockers also have a huge range and could be within the festival or Dreamville, and they change by price on how big they are. So a small can be about $15, and an extra large will be about $41. And they're roughly the same within Dreamville and the festival grounds. The last piece of the miscellaneous section is gonna be merchandise. Now, a lot of people like to get merchandise, especially with Tomorrowland, they have some fantastic things to buy. I definitely recommend going on to the Shop Tomorrowland website to check out kind of the general prices for the things that you're looking for. T-shirts can range from about $50, sweatshirts can be about $90, and accessories have a huge range depending on what you're buying from $30 to $100 or even more. Personally, I like to get merch that is specific to the festival and the festival year that I'm going to. So I would like to see something next year that says Tomorrowland 2023 on it. They have very upscale merch, so I'm guessing they probably won't have the year, but they do have certain items that are themed along with the theme of that current year. This is what the limited edition items look like for the 2022 main stage. Now that we looked at all those prices, I definitely wanna bring those all together and give you a general budget for at least what the minimum of Tomorrowland would cost. So let's jump into that. I've also created this Google Sheet for budgeting any music festival, and I've put in the specific Tomorrowland numbers here for what the minimum would cost if you're getting pre-sale for everything and doing kind of the bare minimum with camping and travel. The ticket with the treasure case fee is $291. The camping is $74. The shuttle is $42 round trip. I think it's worth it to spring for the shuttle rather than the buses. This lower section is auto calculated based on the daily amount that you expect to spend. So definitely take a look at this column with the red items here. These are notes for helping you fill out this um, budget form. In this next section, I estimated $700 for a flight. It could be less and it could be more, but I think this is about the average of what it could be depending on where you live. And of course, with where you live, you're going to have to gauge your own budget. So again, this is going to be linked below for you to fill out for yourself. The bottom section here is your daily budget for your travel days. I personally like to get at least a meal and a beer when I'm going out to travel somewhere, especially going to festivals. I like to include this in my overall budget. Lastly, you're going to put in your number of festival days and travel days to get an accurate calculation. For Tomorrowland, there are three festival days, two travel days. So this total brings us to a $1,400 budget for a single person going to Tomorrowland. This is probably the cheapest that you are gonna be able to make it because we are using pre-sale prices for the tickets and the camping. But you could also say that this is gonna be a little bit different based on flights and how much food that you're going to expect to buy. I will be making a more detailed video on this budget sheet and how to use it. So. Click right here if I've already made the video. If not, subscribe and ring the bell so you can stay tuned for when that video comes out. Let me know in the comments which package that you wanna buy and if you have any other tips, I would love to hear them. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. But I left a link down in the, ah, I gotta do that over again. And accessories have a huge range. There is a siren going on right now, so I'm gonna have to wait for that. It's still going.